Friday the 7th of May 2021, Founders Day. Welcome to Berry Grammar School, the most significant day in the calendar of our school. A day of thanks, gratitude and reflection and of course of great celebration for every member of our community from the most long-standing member of the Berry Grammar community to the very youngest. Founders is a day for the whole school community. Here we are outside the kindergarten and infants where the youngest members of our school enjoy their education. On Founders Day, of course, kindergarten and infant pupils don't have to come to school. It is a day without lessons. However, many families do choose to join us to watch the parade and see as the whole of the community walks from school up to Berry Parish Church for the annual service of Founders Day. Founders Day traditionally begins with a service of Holy Communion at Bury Parish Church at eight o'clock in the morning, followed by a breakfast back here in the school. Then following that, I'll return to my office and await the next events of the day. From these walls, I can hear the happy chatter of pupils getting ready for the day and staff as they don their gowns um, in readiness for the beginning of the, of the day's events. In the weeks immediately preceding Founders Day, it would have been normal to hear every lunchtime the call of, of drums um, practicing and parading up and down Bridge Road. And the signal for me, the, the key moment at which Founders Day really begins is that first beat of the drum as the call of drums leaves the armory and starts to parade down Bridge Road. And that for me is the signal to leave my office, join the parade and meet with the CCF over at the Boys Senior School. This is the point at which Founders Day truly gets underway. The Corps of Drums, led by the DSM, leads out of the armory onto Bridge Road to be seen by the masses of pupils, parents and staff eagerly awaiting their arrival. Traditionally, the girls line up on the boys' side of the road and the boys on the girls' side of the road. Now, I hear in the past, this would have been a moment of great excitement as, as, as the two schools weren't used to seeing each other. Every year, of course, pupils have been hearing the Corps of Drums rehearse for weeks. So there really is a huge sense of anticipation as they first appear on Founders Day and parade down the road. At the end of this part of the parade, the Corps of Drums turns left onto Tenterton Street and meets with the rest of the CCF in front of the Boys Senior School. As you'll know, we're usually really lucky with the weather on Founders Day. It's a warm, bright, sunny spring day and the cherry blossom is in full bloom. As the RSM arrives here at the Boys Senior School, followed by the Corps of Drums, they meet with the rest of the school community, the rest of the CCF, the headmaster, the school captain, the head girl, as we all prepare for the next part of the parade. So this is the official starting point of the parade. The school community leaves our grounds, led by the RSM, who's followed by the Corps of Drums, the rest of the CCF, then the rest of the body of the school. We lead out onto Tenterton Street, um, up towards the centre of Bury, and finally on to Bury Parish Church. Founders Day is of course normally uh, warm and sunny and this would be a very quiet scene as the traffic has stopped um, for the school to process into the centre of Bury. Today of course is a little different. The school walks up Tenterton Street and one of my favourite moments is seeing the faces of our younger pupils, parents who have come to visit us especially on the day and perhaps former members of staff. Then. As the school um, readies to cross the dual carriageway, of course, it isn't like this usually. The headmaster and I stop at the top of the road, look back towards Bridge Road and see the whole of the school um, behind us. It really is quite a spectacle and makes you so proud to be part of this wonderful school on this really special day. So here we are in the Roger K Hall, the heart of Berry Grammar School. And as you would expect, some of the Founders Day events take place here in the central hall in our school. The hall which holds so much history. We have the portraits of the former headmistresses all the way round the school. 
and of course the war memorials to the fallen swans just here on my right hand side and no doubt every viewer watching today will have certain memories of the Roger K Hall but of course Founders Day is all about our benefactors Roger K after whom the, this hall is named, we founded Berry Grammar School, as you will know, in 1730. And Founders Day is all about celebrating his contributions to the school and those of many other benefactors and donors. Our junior pupils and lower school enjoy a Founders Day service, not dissimilar to the actual service which takes place at Berry Parish Church, in here on Founders Day. There'll be Founders Day hymns, readings, and one by one, I'm sure you can imagine this, pupils stand and read out the names of individual benefactors. This means that after a number of years in the school, they are well versed in the history of Berry Grammar School and looking forward to being part of that service at Berry Parish Church as they progress through the school. Here we are now in the boys' school hall, and this is where Founders Day culminates. So after the service in the Berry Parish Church, the school community gathers here for a lovely lunch. So staff, pupils, parents, governors, friends of the school enjoy exchanging their memories of their time at Berry Grammar School. And then at around three, four o'clock in the afternoon, the school falls silent again and we all ponder upon memories of another fantastic day of history. And it seems apt to remember the school's fallen swans, our former pupils who died in service during the Great Wars. And so Founders Day comes to an end. Everybody connected with Berry Grammar School knows that Founders Day is incredibly special. The music, the ceremony, the old boys and the old girls, former colleagues, the blossom, the hymns, and of course our fallen swans, those who made the ultimate sacrifice. For a school that is normally so grounded, Founders Day is a celebration of education, aspiration and ambition and recognition of those who, through extraordinary acts of generosity and kindness, have literally changed lives for the better. Few schools have a history which can be traced back 450 years. I say this many times. It existed long before us and it will exist long after we are all gone. We are all just temporary members and custodians of this fine institution. That brings with it a responsibility a responsibility to look after the school, 
to make careful and wise decisions about its future so that those who come after us will also be grateful. A responsibility to ensure that education is at the core of all that we do and that a BGS education today may look and feel different to 20 years ago or 100 years ago or even 450 years ago but it still holds at its core the acquisition of knowledge, skills, morals, values, beliefs and habits. So that we send young people out into the world who are grounded, articulate, intelligent and who will go on to make a significant contribution to society. And this is as much true today as it has ever been in the past. As well as responsibility, Founders Days should remind us all to be grateful from those who had the wisdom and the foresight to found a school all those years ago to today, those who contribute to our bursary funds to ensure that bright boys and girls from the local area may benefit from a BGS education that we cherish so dearly, irrespective of their parents' ability to pay. Few causes can be more worthy than improving life chances and educating young people. So Founders Day is about remembering, being thankful and really appreciating the great institution that is Berry Grammar School. And never take it for granted. If the past 12 months have taught us anything, it has been to take nothing and nobody for granted. So to all of you, happy Founders Day. Celebrating. This is a poem I have written in honour of Founders Day. 
Sunny skies and rain, a prestigious blue wave, proudly through the streets the swans cascade, every year without fail, except for 2020 and 2021 they did not. And in history it will go down this fascinating tale. For some the virus is an evil, a curse or even a blessing, but we are still celebrating. School spirit ignites, horses march, along our bridge road, everyone comes together. Cadets in uniform and the drummers drumming, school spirit ignites, everyone comes together. Laying the wreaths to commemorate those who came before, school spirit ignites, everyone comes together. Singing like a gentle breeze in the church and in our Roger K Hall, school spirit ignites, everyone comes together. The parade is over, though the day will stay in our hearts, school spirit ignites, everyone comes together. Roger K, the faceless name, known by the students as famous. Only traces of his name remain, immortalised in the walls around us. His name absent from these spacious halls, but on one gracious day, after our patience has been tested, his status is once again contagious. His memory passed down through the occupants, although they are far different from the ones he knew, now diverse with different genders, but one constant remains the same, the faceless name of Roger K. The senior leadership team would now like to share some of their fondest memories of Founders Day. Founders Day is a representation of the altruism and camaraderie that we so highly value at BGS. For me, being able to play a role in such a monumental event, celebrating the contributions of our founders is something which I will always be grateful for. My fondest Founders Day memory is singing in the choir as a tenor at the Berry Parish Church. The organ was always really moving and it was, I was so proud to be part of such a prestigious event. I believe that Founders Day offers an excellent opportunity to allow us to celebrate our great tradition and history, and it's the only event that brings the whole school community together. Founders Day is a celebration of the legacy and ethos that is the Berry Grammar community. This event has always been a highlight of mine, particularly marching with the choral of drums and singing with the festival choir. At Berry Grammar School, every individual is given the opportunity to succeed, whether this is through the academics, sports or the arts. Therefore, not only skills but friendships are built inside and outside the classroom. This is something we are both very grateful for. Music has always been a source of unity at this school, whether it's coming together for a production or a performance before an assembly, but Founders Day truly exemplifies this. I will always remember coming together to sing in the church. The Founders Day service is an integral part of the Berry Grammar tradition and allows all members of the community to appreciate the rich history and background of the school. Performing in Founders Day events is always a memorable time and allows everyone to showcase their talent and celebrate what Berry Grammar is all about. Founders Day makes me feel proud to go to Berry Grammar School. Marching through the centre of Berry with the CCF Corps of Drums is a highlight of mine. Founders Day for me is a time to reflect on our school's past history and traditions and remember the founders and benefactors which have come before us. It is also a time to ensure our school's history and traditions live on into the future. For me, Founders Day enhances the tightly knit community here at Berry Grammar School. As the whole school marches through the streets, I feel an overwhelming sense that we are all proud to be a part of this outstanding school and I am really grateful to be a part of the BGS family.